Welcome back to Astro Picks, everybody. Today's video is going to be about attaching the Zoo EAF to the William Optics GT81 Mark IV. Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is around fitting the ZWO electronic focuser. I'm going to be putting it on to my GT81. It's really, really straightforward. All you need is, is within the pack, you get the two Allen keys that you need and all the couplers and attachments. And it should only take about five minutes to do. I'm going to explain it as I go and hopefully you can follow along and hopefully you find the video useful. First thing you want to, going to want to do is remove the coarse focus button here so I'm just gonna undo the grub screws on the side rotate them a bit and that should just come off nice and easy like that um, put that one safe because if you ever do come to change your telescope um, you want to take your focus off you'll need you'll need that again so put that safe to one side makes a nice little desk weight or something then you're going to take the uh, focus knob off here and also you're going to want to re remove this blanking off grub screw here um, it's obviously just there to keep dust out of the hole but you will need that when we come to attach the bracket that the electronic focuser goes on to again take that off keep it safe and put it to one side next you're going to want to get the, the appropriate coupler for your telescope and we're going to attach that on um, there's obviously one part of this that's flat, so you want one of these grub screws to align with one of those flat elements. I tend to push it all the way in <coughs> and then just pull it back only slightly just so it's not rubbing against the, the telescope in any way and tighten that one off. Not too tight, never over tighten things. And then rotate the, count, rotate the focus around to the next grub screw And again, just tighten that off. Hopefully now, when both of those are done, that shouldn't be any plain that whatsoever. There we go. That's on nice and tight. Again, like I said, don't over tighten things too much. There. Now it's time for the, the focuser itself. So we're going to place the focuser. Um, I'm just going to undo these two screws really quickly because I'm going to need those for when we put it onto the mat, the plate itself. Note there, there's two, comes with two washers there, so I think one's going to go on the inside and one on the outside, so I'm going to split them up. So just take that off, put them to one side. So now we're going to, it should align to one of the grub screws, which it does. That's fine. And again, I'm just going to slightly just pull it away, just so there's a little bit of a, a gap between the coupler and the actual focuser. just so there's no friction and no rubbing to interfere when it does. Again, don't over tighten it. We don't want things too tight. Just to the pinch. There we go, so that is now attached on. So next comes to the, the bracket. going to line this up. I'm actually going to attach the bracket to the focuser first. I'm just going to slide that through. Put that spare washer that you had onto the other side. 
I'm just going to line that up. And just gently, just, just do it slightly, he says. It's quite fiddly trying to do this while keeping a camera angle. It's been a lot easier on a workbench. There we go. <coughs> Same with the second one. Just going to pop that through. Pop the washer on. Just going to back that one off for just a touch, touch so I can get the there we go. Okay, there we are. So both of those are now, I'm not going to tighten them up at this stage because I want to line, line this up. You find the appropriate washer and and screw in the kit. And though that the hole that had the focus hold knob, you put the first one into. And the second one is where we removed that blanking plate. They're uh, not plate, sorry, blanking grub screw. That goes in there like that and then what I would tend to do is do each one just a turn at a time don't don't tighten them all like all, all together or one screw all together I tend to do one at a time and don't over tighten them because you'll just strip you strip the uh, screw thread and there they're all just pinched up nice and there you have it. That is how you attach your automatic focuser to the GT81. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and comment. And I'd really love it if you would take the time just to hit that subscribe button so I can grow this channel a little bit more and help a lot more other people. Wish you all clear skies and see you soon.